let's do this. Do you see this design here? Is it 88? Is this an 8? Is this an 8? Is this a 0? These two designs, okay, let me just move my camera over. Is There it is. It's just 1 and 2. When you put them together, it becomes a heart, okay? Forget about the overlap if you don't want, right? Now you put them together and boom. So now these two come in between. Now what is the question? What is the value of this? We are going to get our H and our I over here. Or what I'm going to do, right, is, right, let me get that thicker. I don't know which way I want to go with this. But this is where my H comes in. And this is where my I comes in. Now, I can do this many ways. I can do it um, full, solid color, black if I want, right? And here's my three pillars. just want to make it a little bit thicker so you can see. And then here's my H. Now, we're going to go with one of these, not two of these. This is showing you the whole thing. Uh, sometimes in designs... It just shows the whole reality. Um, another thing I was speaking about is um, in one of my pieces today is I'm not going to put the pinhole in the center. You see the way the center is empty? We are going to... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I need to find a pin here. I need to find a pin. A pin. I'm just going to find one single pin. i got lots of pins. I just don't want to drop the pin on the floor. And what I'm going to do is, I was talking about the pendulum swinging in a previous video, right? Now, it's swinging. Sorry. Pendulum swings. Let me get this through here. Okay. Didn't go all the way through. But I just want to show you something. That this might be the pendulum swinging on this. Right, dum, 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 dum. That might be our pendulum swinging. At the same time, if I was just showing you just one piece, and this piece would go up, see the way the circle would go to the top because of this pin? If I was connected just to the pin, the pin would show me at the bottom, okay? And the pin would show me at the top, making the pin be the center, but not the center of the circle, which could be the reader at the bottom, and the reader is at the top, and it goes around and around and around. Now that I'm using an item that's this big, we can also look at this as the pendulum swing. Right? You notice the way it's swinging up here? Right? Swinging up here. But we're only swinging it here. Now, there would be a circle in the center. Let me call it the hatchet. And it would keep going all the way around, putting that circle at the top, putting the circle at the bottom. I'm going to see if I can show you um, one of the designs I made that fit this can I show you can't find what I was looking for but I did find this right imagine if it was exactly what I showed you and let's say they were separated squeezed out by these two pieces that are in the center and then at the same time see the way that we have the hexagon right the hexagons we have eight sides these eight sides, this side here and this side here, divided by the square, connects to these two worlds. The same thing, these two worlds, divided by this area over here. Now, this is something completely different. I don't know where I'm going with this. I have to see somebody's work in order to be able to put this in place. Remember, even the center will be broken up. And that center will be broken up. into nine areas in which these corner areas will be half areas and this would be seven taking the number seven taking up both these areas between here and here see the way we have this design over here right and that's your yield sign your diamond right diamonds are forever so you're in two worlds here two worlds here two worlds here and two worlds here and here you're whole um, in regular numbers, you're 2, 8, and 4, 6, right? Exiting and exiting, and your half worlds, 
Okay, your nine birth, your one spirit, your three creation, and the seventh gate seems to be breaking out into this world over here, coming in from the nine world. Then you go into multitudes of areas. So now I need one more. I left it in the computer. Let's say we have a pendulum clock, how our legs can go, how our hands can go side to side between the two worlds, the pendulum clock between the squares that I was showing you. The pendulum clock or the light, 234, 234, maximum movement 27. We never move into the walls. You never park against the wall. You have a liberated area space. Where 270 degrees, right, leaves me with an opening of 90. Okay, I have 90 all the way to 45, all the way to 45. 27 and 18, 27 and 18. Right? That's just the way it works out. 999 nine, nine, area space. 9 degrees, 9 degrees, 9 degrees. And then 9 and 9 area space. You're using 3 here and 2 here. The same thing as the BC world. 2 to the power of 3, 3 to the power of 2, 2, 3, 4, and 666 six, six create your 90 degree between here and here. And your pendulum swings. Here's your stopper. Now, if we had a cutter in the center, right, that goes onto this pin. That will spin on the top and spin on the bottom as your timer spins here. It can read it right from over here. It doesn't need to be down here. And it reads it from inside the circle. I still don't know exactly what I'm explaining here. I think I showed you this already. Okay. And this is also to be going to something to do with time clocks. You see, I can't figure out the, everything. But in my creation of the theory of everything that's been done probably by hundreds of people and I've seen it and I, I I know I can find more stuff in what they've done already um, this is a piece between the Sun and the moon the ancient spiral okay and this page is Sun moon God spirit um, self neo pagan and w why I'm bringing this up right now is because in my last video, right, in my last video, um, I got to see where it is exactly. Um, also, the opening, right? The opening. Forget about that. My last video, right? My last video. I'm just trying to remember where that, that pendulum swing is just... Yes, it was right here between the sun and the moon. And that was uh, when you get the center of numbers, right? The center of numbers here, okay? The sun and the moon is where it comes into effect right over here. 16, 20, 38 equals 54 numeric value basic for sun. 7 and 9 is 16 plus 2 is 18, okay? All zeros equal 6. Then you can say 24, but let's not go in that route. The upside down, 1921 is 40. In between here, 17, 57 moon, 54 sun, 111 total. 1, 3, 8. 1, 3, 8. 38 is the church. Steeple of the church. That is your split. That is your divide. Remember, 1, 1, 1, the seventh gate, the opposite on the cube of 1 is 6. Boom, boom, boom. From here to here is 3. From here to here is 3. From here to here is 3. 369. When you put those numbers together, 369, you create create some words. And one of the words that you create, hmm, I'm not I'm not sure where I put that in, is um is Eiffel and Seafull, and I, I have to show you where that is. Yes, it's right here. I found it. Three, then six, and then nine. Okay, this one is 3, 6, and 12, because 3 and 9, 3, 6, 9, then 9, 3 will make the 12. The same time I was talking more about this design here. Let's go back for a second. I need to talk about this design. Outside this design will be 6, and then outside of that will be 12. 3 and 6 is 9, and 12 is 21. 3, 6, and 12 creates this right I got that right and it creates CFI 369 C E E F okay uh, soft ease 
is where the E comes before the consonant. Hard E's is where E comes after the consonant. And then you get 6 and 12 is your 18. You get the total here when you're going 3 to 6, and then 6 to 12, and then you got to go 12 to 3. I didn't do that one. Then you got to go 12 and 3 equals to 15, the AE world. Uh, so you now have um, LC, and they usually call that LC the cow, and I always refer to that as the cow jumping over the moon. The cow jumps over the moon. Cow's got four nipples, got to plug in all of them. Uh, you have CL, and then you have O, LCO. Um, at the same time, you have um, 1 and 2 is actually 33. And 12 and 15 also totals 33. And that is, again, the moon, because OR, meaning gold in French, and the 15th and the 18th letter, 6 and 9. Over here, we have X and X, barnyard doors. If Jesus was born on a stable, was he stable? Usually you say stable if he's born in the kitchen, right? Stable, kitchen, how can I um, repeat that? A laboratory, lab, science, balance. The balance, the two X's. Okay, value at a 10 in Roman numerals or the 24th letter. Reverse 3 and 17 for Q and C. The gateway G and A. Or J and G, Jesus God, Jack God. But when you have X and X, there's an empty space for a ball to sit here and a ball to sit here, almost like an hourglass. This also says 808. The same as the design that I had shown to start off um, in this design over here. Where, where is it? The same as when I put these two together. I took it apart, right? The two, it's a heart, and I put it back together. Now I'm going to take it apart again. I'm just going to do something a little weird. So let me take this here, and just let me take this off over here, right? So I'm going to take that off. No, I'm not going to take that off. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to um, put it together right over here. And I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to rotate and then bring this over here to show you again 808. I just didn't cut off the tails in the right place. Raphael 7286 and a constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching this video.